Ray Mark here from newhometricks.com and today I want to run through the installation of Tardo Smart Radiator Thermostats. Now in the previous video on this topic we went through the unboxing of one of these showing you what you actually get with the Tardo Smart Radiator Thermostat. Today I want to show you the actual physical installation process and simultaneously show you what you see inside the Tardo app as you're guided through the installation process. So let's get straight into it and see how it works. To begin, tap into the hamburger menu inside the Tido app and then tap on Add Device. You can then tap on Smart Radiator Thermostat from the list of available devices to install. You then move on to registering your Smart Radiator Thermostat by scanning the QR code on the front of the device. This is on a sticker that you can then remove and put into your records card for later reference. Once you've done this, you can then remove the mounting bracket from the underside of the smart radiator thermostat, separating it into two parts, like so. Once you've removed the mounting bracket, you can power on the smart radiator thermostat. You do this by removing the battery strip to activate the thermostat. Once you've done that, you press and hold the pairing button on the underside of the device for three seconds, to begin the thermostat pairing process. During this stage, you'll see three dashed lines flashing on the front of the smart radiator thermostat. This indicates that pairing is in progress. Once the pairing process has completed, the three dashed lines will go solid to indicate that it's connected to your internet bridge. It can, however, take a few minutes for the app to catch up with the fact that the pairing process is completed, so don't be surprised if you have to wait a few moments for this to happen. Once the pairing has been recognised, you'll see the green bar inside the app telling you that the thermostat is connected to the Tardo servers. By tapping Next, you'll move on to the following screen, indicating that the device is now ready for mounting, meaning that we can get started with the actual physical installation of the thermostat. First, we of course have to remove the old thermostat head from the thermostatic radiator valve. Now, the way that you do this may vary depending on what type of thermostat that you've got installed. So, you can tap a link inside the app to bring up these instructions, which give you a few options as to how you might remove the thermostat head from your valve. In our case, it was a simple matter of unscrewing the thermostatic head from the old valve. So, fairly easy for us to do but your system may vary. When you tap next, you move on to the next screen telling you to screw the mounting bracket onto the valve. In our case, we were able to screw the mounting bracket directly onto the valve, but again, your installation may vary. You may need to use one of the adapters. As you saw during the unboxing video, Tardo provide a range of adapters inside the box, so hopefully you'll be able to find one that works for you if you need to use one of the adapters. Be sure to screw the bracket onto the valve securely. And once done, adjust the position of the LED marker. This indicates which way the LED display on the front of the thermostat will be facing when you install it. To install, simply place it on top and snap it to the right until it clicks into place. Once done, the app should recognize that the device has been mounted and calibration will begin. The calibration process is the act of detecting the open and closed points for your thermostat valve. Once this is done, you can move on to creating a new zone or placing the device into one of the existing zones inside Tardo. I'm going to cover zones off in a little bit more detail in a future video. In our case, I'm going to use the existing house zone that we've got, placing the thermostat into that existing zone. Once done, when you press the next button, you'll see a screen indicating that the process is completed and that you're done. You can then either add more devices or return to the main Tardo screen uh, to carry on controlling your heating. That's the complete process, and as you can see, it's fairly straightforward and painless. It didn't involve any leaks or any water coming out, so it's a fairly straightforward procedure. Okay, so that's the installation process. As you can see, fairly simple and straightforward to do. Um, you're just removing the old thermostat head from your valve, installing the new Tardo smart radiator thermostat, and you're away. No need to drain your central heating, it's not a big operation, it's fairly simple and straightforward to do. We certainly found it fairly painless. 
Once done, you can of course add the device to either a new or existing zone as defined inside Tardo. And as mentioned, I'm going to actually dedicate a separate video to the use and setup of zones and how you can use those to better control the heating inside your home because you can set that up however you want. You've got a lot of flexibility around that. So I think I'll dedicate a separate video to that topic. Uh, in the meantime, just know that you can, of course, control the heating fairly easily once you've set one of these thermostats up. And you can, of course, control the actual smart radiator thermostat itself directly on the device by turning the dial and the display will light up and show you the temperature that you're choosing. But of course, as with most things that you're going to do with Tardo's uh, smart heating system, much of the time you're going to use the app to control your heating. I've written up a companion blog post that goes into a bit more detail about the installation process. You can find the link to that in the description below or have a look at the website newhometricks.com. Uh, if you've liked this video, please share it. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.